This is my baby peer, SmartFrog17. I started SmartFrog with these stats and zero GP in the bank, and now I'm on a solo adventure to PK my own money and train my staff to turn this account into a PKing monster. Welcome back to the adventures of SmartFrog17. All right, so starting the episode out over at the Hobgoblins, this is the spot I love to kill the bots. Occasionally, you find some newbie PKers here, and we found a guy using Zami Flames around the same combat level as us, and here's how it went. Man thought he was slick here by freezing us and standing under, but you know we keep those mid seeds on us. We seed out from under him and man just catch the freeze. Now it's a good fight. The uh, loot wasn't that great, but we take it. So I did attempt to go hop in the Slayer cave to see if I could find anyone doing Slayer, and this was the only person I was able to find. Oh, look at this guy! Oh! Go to the Slayer Cave, 61! Go to the Slayer Cave! All right, so I was back at the Hobbs and I had a few keys from killing bots and I saw this Rev Killer who was a real player. I stared at him and cast a charge spell, which looks like I'm casting Sarah's Strike and he managed to skull. Nice stats, bro. It's gonna be tough to kill him. It's gonna be tough as hell to kill this guy, bro. I don't know if he knows he's skulled. I don't know if he knows that he's skulled. Totally could have killed him there. Totally could have killed him. <gasps> Holy could have killed him there, bro! Alright, so if you remember from last episode, one of my favorite spots to hop is down at the Earth Warriors. Well, we went back there, and last episode I found an Ultimate Iron Man, and guess what? I found another one. Another one. Are you kidding me? That's another one. Another ultimate dead. That's two. That's two. Holy crap. That's another ultimate dead. Oh, that one's not worth it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Ultimate. I'm so sorry, Mr. Ultimate. Originally, when I killed this guy, I felt bad, but watching him back, I honestly don't feel any remorse. Like, when you go into the wilderness, you have to realize that you could lose your stuff, so... If you want to cry about it in the comments, like some people did in the last video, go ahead. But my real ones, they know how it works. Oh! Hello! This is not an Iron Man, I don't think. It has a glory. Yeah, you're gone. See ya, buddy. Alright, what did we get off that guy in Mystics? <gasps> I did attempt to try and PK at some more unknown locations. Uh, here's us at the Crazy Archaeologist. This was the only person I was able to find, but it's always nice to get PK clips in uh, different locations. Well, this is for sure an Iron Man. The question is, is it a hardcore? No, it's just a regular iron. Oh! He smited. I don't think this guy had too much on him. Ah. Oh. It's not bad.
All right, so we're about to get some questing in, and uh, I could use a little bit more cash. So I'm going to go ahead and sell a bunch of the revs loot that we've been getting, and I'm going to use that to buy some items, maybe even a blowpipe. But basically, I'm just going to liquidate uh, my bank a little bit and get a little bit of cash. All right, there's 31 crafting. I believe uh, we have all the requirements to do Lost City now, so uh, we're going to go knock that out. Pretty easy quest. Shouldn't take us too long. Boom. Bam. Bop. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. All right, so if you don't already know, I've been trying to get this frog random event forever so I can get the frog mask. I was AFK training at Rock Crabs and I finally managed to get to an event and I pulled out my recorder to get the clip and this happened. Oh fuck, I'm not going. Dude! Bro! Dude, I'm at Sand Crabs and I got the frog event and I can't get it! I can't, I can't get it because they keep it. They just appeared! Bro! Bro! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my shit. I've been trying to get that round. <laughs> All right, well, missing that random event was pretty sad, but uh, we just got 77 range here at the Sand Crabs. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty upset about losing that random event, but I'll get another one, I guess, so get over it all right so i had this hard clue that had been sitting in my bank for a while and i decided uh to try and do some of the steps i was able to complete the first few and then the last one required me to do the troll stronghold quest so i needed to do this to get climbing boots anyways so uh that's what we were doing Bruh. okay hey yo boys just like every video though if you want to win 61 mil gp on this video all you have to do is leave a like on the video and then comment your RuneScape name down below and you could be the lucky winner of 61 mil. Check the end of next video to see if you've won. Alright, that was enough questing and training though. It was time to get back to doing some PKing. Dude, look at this guy's look at this guy, man. What the hell? How you keep how you all find this? Yes, sir. He scared me, old hitter. What? That was the guy I just got in a mill? That's crazy, bro. That's easy money. So we were running around the rev caves and we saw this level 67. Absolutely love these baby pure fights. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's for sure. Was that his loot? Oh, we got some wizard boots off him, so it wasn't uh, too bad loot. Attack me. You guys, you think I can kill him? Can Smart Frog do it, chat? This is the Smart Frog's biggest challenge yet. All right, so we found ourselves back over at the Hobgoblins, and I believe at this time I was around 63 or so combat. And this guy was, I believe, 85. So over 23 levels on us. Um, this is going to be a tough one for sure.
<laughs> good fight, brother. Not even good loot, but like, <laughs> that's just a hell of a clip right there. Alright, so the whole theme of this episode being Peking and unknown, unknown locations. We are on a PvP world over here at Sand Crabs. Don't normally find people here, but it is an uncommon spot. I was running around the shores and I managed to find a level 63 who was around the same combat and gear as me. So, of course, you already know we had to get a fight in. Hello? the trip to, uh, to St. Cab. Unfortunately uh, for him, he brought the blighted uh, super swords with him. If you didn't know, uh, you can't drink those in, in PvP worlds. Alright, so another clip, another location. We find ourselves at the demon spot in the Rev Caves, 25 Wilderness, and we find a level 83 skull with a crossbow. 20 combat levels on us. This is going to be another tough one. They have seen. Dude, crossbow is stupid OP, man. Dead? Dead? Dead! Yeah! Go on, smart frog! Let's go, baby! Ooh! Woohoo! Alright, so we find ourselves back in the Edgefield dungeon, and look at this guy that we find. The exact type of person that we're looking for. The exact type of person who would bring their entire cash stack down here. See ya. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see what we got off for Mr. Sarah Doman. Oh. I mean, that's not bad. It's about what you would expect, but you'd hope to see like a cash stack off him. But, you know, we'll take 240k. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you didn't already, please maybe drop a like and uh, subscribe. Oh, remember y'all, everyone is struggling with something, so be cool, you know? Here's the giveaway winner for last video. Remember to like and comment if you want a chance to win on this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's day, and I will see you guys next time.